Hello School District of Washington staff and welcome to the first installment in the Google Classroom tutorial series. In today's tutorial we will navigate the process of establishing Google Classroom courses. You have been invited to be a co-teacher in a course on Google Classroom called SDOW Classroom Template. This course is already formatted in such a way that you can copy it and then manipulate the content to match that of your own course. We're going to navigate this process together. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you'll want to do is make sure you are signed in to your Google account on your device. In the upper right hand corner of the screen where you typically see your account image or the letter representing your name, you're going to look immediately to the left and see what's called the Google Apps button. We often call this the waffle button. We'll click that we will choose classroom and a dashboard is going to appear if you have used classroom previously you will likely see tiles of the different courses of which you have been a part or have taught locate the tile that is for the SDOW classroom template course you'll see a note that indicates you're invited to teach this class and we want to go ahead and accept it's going to take a moment for the course page to load, but once it does, you're going to now have access to this template course. In the upper left hand corner, you'll notice a menu of three horizontal lines. Please click this menu and click classes at the very top. Your dashboard is now going to reappear. Locate the tile for the SDOW classroom template course, the one that you just joined, and click the three dots menu in the upper right hand corner of the tile. And now click copy. A pop-up window is going to appear now. You are required to give your class a name, but the other items are optional. Please ensure that you do not proceed until you have changed the content of the class name blank. You'll see here the default says copy of SDOW classroom template and we don't want to keep that because that does not indicate anything about your course or the instructor. So we'll go ahead and give our course a name. The blank below the name blank reads section. If you're a secondary level teacher, it is recommended that you also complete this blank because it allows you to easily differentiate between class periods. For example, if I taught chemistry or algebra two or US history, I probably am going to be teaching that course multiple times throughout the day. So by putting a class period in the section blank, I can easily differentiate which course is which. Elementary teachers may also wish to do the section when you are teaching multiple sections of a subject. For example, if one of your fourth grade team members is responsible for teaching math to everyone's fourth grade class in your building, he or she would want to maybe put as the section the last name of the homeroom teacher for each group of students. It is not recommended that you create one Google Classroom page for a course with multiple sections. It's very difficult to manage because the number of students grows and it does not allow you to correctly use securely when monitoring student Chromebooks. What we mean by that is that if you had all of your students lumped together in one Google Classroom course and your students from third hour left and went to another teacher for fourth hour, you still would have the ability to monitor their Chromebook through securely when their fourth hour teacher actually needs to have the rights to do that during their class period. So we advise against creating Google Classroom courses for multiple sections rolled into one. So we differentiate by section. I'm going to, as an example here, type a class period and I'm going to go ahead and click copy. Once I've clicked copy, it's going to establish my actual course. And from here, we will continue the process in successive tutorials of how to manipulate, create, and facilitate this course. You'll notice on my dashboard, I now have a tile here for my new class. It still says it's creating the class, and that's fine. Once this has appeared, however, 
we do need to unenroll from the original SDOW template classroom. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go over to this tile, the one we joined a few moments ago, the SDOW classroom template. We're going to click the three dots menu and we're going to click leave class. We'll get prompted for this one more time. We'll go ahead and say yes. And now we have unenrolled from the district template course. There's no reason to be in there once we've already made our own copy. In our next tutorial, we will open up our course that we've created and begin the process of adding content and managing the course. Thank you very much for watching.